Hey, Harry Potter fans, Peter Kenneth here. Welcome to the Potter Collector Channel, where we are a community of collectors. Today, we are taking a look at the official licensed hand-carved wooden collectible Harry Potter wands. That was a mouthful. There are only three in the set. We have the Elder Wand, Hermione's Wand, and Harry Potter's Wand. I know, where is Ron's Wand? They need to come out with that one. As well as some others. We're gonna take a look at these things in detail, as well as the wand boxes, which I think are incredible replicas of Ollivander wand boxes. You may have recently seen these wands on the Potter Collector channel. I very briefly showed them to you guys during my Harry Potter New York haul video. And in that video, I let you know that I am holding a sweepstakes for you to have the chance to win one of these wands. You'll find all the sweepstakes information down below, but a quick reminder that I am giving one of you the chance to win your choice of these three wands. All you have to do is download Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery, which is a really fun and addictive official Harry Potter mobile game. So in order to win one of these 80 plus dollar value wands, all you have to do is download Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery using the link in the description down below, and you must use that link in order to be entered. Screenshot yourself reaching chapter seven of year one in the game and send that screenshot to me, either DM or post it on social media and tag me. Leave a comment down below with your favorite Wizarding World character and Hogwarts house, and then wait to see if you won. Again, all the information is listed down below, and I also mentioned that if 1,000 Potter Collector community members downloads the game using the link in the description down below, I will give not one, but two of you the chance to win a wand. As of now, we are over 700 downloads. So we still have a few weeks to reach 1,000 downloads. I would love to give two of these wands away. Let's get into the wands. All right, Hermione's wand is on the top, so let's take a look at Hermione's wand first. Now, you can purchase these wands at the Harry Potter store in New York, as well as online, as well as at the Warner Brothers Studio Tour in London. But the greatest of those is online, because if you can't make it to one of the stores, you can still purchase it and have them shipped to you. But this right here is the packaging. Little slip around there, so copyright information and then it tells you what wand is inside. Let's slide that off because now we have an authentic Ollivander's wand box. It's like Hermione went to Ollivander's when she was 11 years old and this is the wand that came off of the shelf. Isn't this thing fantastic? There's some wear to the box. Looks like it's been on Ollivander's shelves for a while. We have two different numbered stickers on either side. A really nice red color and then when you pop the top open, it reveals an official Wizarding World hand-carved wood wand, replica of Hermione Granger's wand, cushioned in satin. Absolutely stunning. The cool thing about these, look, the wand isn't falling out because there are these two elastic straps that hold the wand in place. So if you decide to display it on your shelves, like an open box or something, you can have this on top of the lid or however you want to display it. You don't have to worry about the wand falling out of the box. But you can also take the wand out of the box, which we're gonna do right now. These wands are pretty heavy because there is a steel core. So to help prevent the wands from just snapping, they've put a steel core in the center. But how beautiful is this thing? Just the fact alone that we can purchase wood wand replicas is really, really cool. So you can see the vine pattern with the leaves. All of it is hand carved. This is real wood. You can hear it. And they make for excellent collectible displayable pieces and really feel good in the hand too. If you wanted to use this for cosplay, I mean, it'd be a pretty expensive cosplay wand. But if you want to get really authentic because wands in the Wizarding World are not made of resin, they are made of wood. This is a great authentic Wizarding World wand to add to your cosplay. It has a really nice balance. It's not very bottom heavy, not top heavy at all. Just a little flick feels fantastic. So swish and flick, Hermione Granger's wand. Next up is Mr. Harry Potter's wand. I think in the haul video, I said it was a green box. I'm a little color deficient, so browns and greens give me some trouble. But alas, earwax, it is brown. So thank you to everyone who let me know in the comments. But here's Harry Potter's wand box. And as you can see, it has that same kind of worn appearance and look to it. I really like that finish. It's almost like this box has been created out of the leather material, it has a really nice texture to it. And then Harry also has those stickers on the ends of the wand box. And when we open it up, 
do 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 Harry has ribbon. Ribbon and velvet cushioning his wand, a red velvet. So as you're seeing, not only is it cool that we have wood wands, but we have incredible display pieces too. I mean, look at how gorgeous this would look on your shelves with like the ribbon kind of draped over a shelf or flowing on the shelf. Really, really nice wands. A little bit larger than like the Noble Collection replicas, but not too large. So just like Hermione's wand, Harry's wand has that steel core. Oh, you can actually feel it jiggling in there. So it has a steel core to prevent it from breaking. The wand is really detailed, looks just like Harry's wand with that almost stump-like handle, which transitions into the more smooth shaft of the wand. Darker color on the handle, lighter wood tones as it gets towards the tip. Just so much detail. I mean, look at that handle. That's really, really cool. Looks just like wood because it is wood. Another fantastic wand. I really, really love the red velvet. And maybe it's because I love red velvet cake. I don't know, but this looks really good. All right, last but not least is the best box in my opinion. This is the Elder Wand or Dumbledore's wand. Look at those gold regal looking tassels. So the box is this royal blue color. Again, same kind of worn design with that leather looking pattern on it. Tassel on the left, tassel on the right. And when you open it up, the royal regalness just gets even better with a purple satin holding the elder wand. Yeah, that's pretty darn amazing. I agree. So here we have the Elder Wand, the most powerful wand in the world, which ends up in the hands of Dumbledore. And ultimately in the Harry Potter series, it ends up in Harry Potter's possession. But I think the color choice of satin was absolutely perfect. It makes the wand just feel royal and regal as it should because I mean, it's darn powerful wand. And Dumbledore is pretty regal too. This is, I think, the best of the three. I don't believe there's a steel core, so it's lighter than the others. It's also not as oversized as the others. Like, the other ones are a little bit more oversized compared to the Noble Collection replica, whereas the Elder Wand is pretty darn close to the size of the Noble Collection replicas that you can purchase. Just like the others, though, it feels very nice in your hand. And because it doesn't have that metal core, it feels more like a wood wand would feel. It has that very light, airy, swish and flick feel to it. And so much detail. This looks just like the Elder Wand. All the wands do look like their original design, but there's something about the Elder Wand, and maybe it's because it's my favorite wand, but there's something about the Elder Wand that just stands out from the other two. Amazing thought that these were hand carved and just overall a perfect wood replica of the Elder Wand. What do you guys think about these three wands? Are they things that you would purchase to add to your collection? Is there a particular character's wand that you would like to see turned into a wood wand? Let me know, as well as the Potter Collector community in a comment down below. And also let me know if you guys own any of these, and if you do and own more than one, which one's your favorite? The Elder Wand is definitely my favorite. Box and wand. I think for this one, you get the biggest bang for your buck. But in my opinion, the other two, I think are also worth the price tag. Realistically, these could be priced more expensive in my opinion. I think they're $80. They might be $85. Let me just double check. The price of these is $80. Okay, so these are $80 wands. Again, in my opinion, because they're hand carved, they're wood, they're more collectible, they come in these fantastic boxes, I would personally pay upwards of $100 each. So one more reminder to you guys, you have the chance to win one of these $80 value wands. Winner's choice. Check the description down below for sweepstakes information. If you have any questions about Harry Potter or collecting, feel free to leave a comment down below. You can also join the Potter Collector community on Instagram at the Potter Collector or on Twitter at Potter Collector. Now it's time to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, keep collecting. Thank you so much for watching, and if you're new here, welcome. We cover all things Harry Potter on the Potter Collector channel, like books, merchandise reviews, unboxings, Wizarding World of Harry Potter videos, and more. If you would like to subscribe, you can click right here. You can also check out a previously posted video right around here. If you have any questions about Harry Potter, feel free to leave a comment down below. I am happy to help. But for now, I must go. We'll see you next time. Whoa, where'd he go?